Since 2019, the Boni administration has continued to implement policies and programs to bring more development to Yobe states. The government is using its policy trust of continuity, consolidation and innovation to execute developmental projects in the Northeast states. Welcome to another episode of Impact Yobe, where you get information about developmental issues and the pride of the Sahel. My name is Michael Oshoma. This is Arikme Primary School in Portiscombe, the commercial nerve center of Yobe State, Northeast Nigeria. Arikme Primary School hosts about 19,000 people making it the most populated primary school in West Africa. Various administrations in Yobe State have played significant roles to tackle the challenges bedeviling Arikime Primary School through provision of desk, learning materials, drinking water, new classroom among others. Recently, an online media publication reported that the school lacked teaching materials, drinkable water, sufficient classroom, teachers and toilets among others. Impact Yobe Crew visited Arikime Primary School, which was established in 1974 to assess the facilities. The administration of Governor May Malabuni has invested heavily in the education sector across the state. This is because education is one of his priorities when he assumed office in 2019 as Governor of Yobe State. Before the administration of Governor May Malabuni, each classroom at the school has about 350 people. The conjunction of students in the classes did not go that well with Governor Boni's ideology for education. As part of measures to decongest the classes and provide comfortable learning environment for the purpose, the administration constructed additional 60 classrooms at the school. The effort of the state government under the leadership of Maimala Boni was so significant to the extent that we may say he has done greatly to us. Under his tenure, we were being able to get over 60 classrooms built and furnished. The executive chairman of the Yobe State Basic Education Board, Professor Musa Alibi, and some education officers visited Arkhime Primary School for inspection and supervision. It is one of those, uh, events. Speaking with Impact Yobe Crew, Professor Alibi described the online publication about the school as pure mischief. About uh, two, three years ago, we had uh, only very few classes. And that means most of the students take their lessons under the tree or in the temporary sheds. So this government of uh, Maimala Buni uh, went into action and decided to intervene in so many ways. Between that time and this very time, which is about three years now, we have built over 60 classes, as you have seen yourselves. Some of the classes are yet to be occupied because we don't have, the contractors have not finished their, their work in the sense that they have not supplied the required uh, tables and chairs. But we have enough number of classes now to accommodate the large number of students we have, which is... Uh, uh, direct opposite of what we what we met uh, on ground when we came in. The chairman of Patiskum local government area, Sally Simutari, attributed the publication to and the work of the opposition and enemies of the state. I'm inviting them to go to that school to invite the press people along with them to visit that school. And please, the opposition should let me know the day they are going there. So I want them to come to that school, I'll be there because they are, it is not against saying. It's something physical. The classes are there. The toilets are there. The security is there. The teachers are there. Today, I'm proud to tell you, before, that school have uh, about some, some classes. You find over 300 students in a particular classroom. But today, the maximum you get in a classroom is just 80, 90, maybe 100. There, are a, there is a classroom that has only one, 45 students in a particular classroom. So what they were saying is just mere publication and uh, they are just looking for things to do, but they should just go there with their cameras 
uh, make it live if they want. The Boni administration also constructed additional boreholes in the school to meet the demand of the growing population of the pupils at Arikme School. The pupils and teachers are enjoying the water facility provided in the school. You have seen it. Seeing is believing. We have water, two functional boreholes, and the water is still, we have it. The toilets are functioning. You have seen it. We've gone through with you. So the issue of we don't have toilets, there is no gain saying on it. Honestly, we thank Governor Mai Malabuni for providing us a classroom, water, and toilet. And our wish, we wish our Governor Mai Malabuni to be in his seat for at least four years again. The administration also constructed modern toilets to avert health crisis within the school. This is contrary to the online reports which accuse the state government of not providing toilet for the pupils, leaving them to urinate and defecate in an open space. The of teachers at that time, and so what we did now is to augment that number using end power and some volunteers. So we have virtually over 100 teachers in the school. So to say you don't have enough uh, teachers or you don't have enough uh, classrooms, that is uh, is just a tale, just a fairy tale. Uh, I'm sure what you people saw, the the newsmen, uh, and the journalists, what you saw on ground contradicts what was written there. And uh, we are still going around, and I'm sure you will see more of these facilities. Some of the students commended Governor Bunile's administration for providing them with necessary facilities to learn. Based on the population of pupils at Arikme, it's equivalent to 20 primary schools when divided. <laughs> the suburb chairman admits that though there is more to be done at the school, critics should not dismiss interventions made by Buni administration. Not that we have solved the entire problems. These are problems that have built up for a decade. So we are just coming in and you can see what we have done, what this government, government of Memala Buni has done in just a span of three years. So we hope in the next two to three years, we shall be able to solve this problem. Right now, as I'm talking to you, we are building an alternative school, which we are going to call Alikime 2. This is one we call it. By the time we finish that structure, we will decongest. We will take like a quarter or one third of the school and move them to the Alikime 2. By the time you come here, you will see a sizable number of, pe of people in the class. We went to a class now. In one of the class, how much do you count to yourself? 45. Even in a conventional school, it, will, it won't be better than that. So we have really decongested uh, that number uh, of you know, high 250 per class, which we met initially, to what we have now. So that's an achievement. We have someone at the help of the affairs in Yobe State, somebody that we cherish, somebody that in the APC everywhere is proud to have him as our governor today. And the people of Ali Kime are always coming to me, thanking me. They knew what this government done to them. Not only their classrooms, go and see drainages there in that area. See roads that this present government built in that Ali Kime area. We call that area China. This is the most populated primary school, the most populated primary school in West Africa, with 19,000 children in that school. You can imagine. But today, come and see it yourself. It's not a matter of uh, saying or just going to social media to write what you want to write. Come with your camera. Make it live if you want. So I believe those are just saying of some uh, oppositions that they are looking for what to say. Education experts suggest that special funds should be allocated to cater for the needs and maintenance of Arikime Primary School and others like it to avert overcrowding.